Hello, so this is the KPS-125, also known as the Minotauri Wild Zoom 125X. So this camera comes in a great condition, I would say. There's some, um, the, the what do you call this, the, the mark leaving here. But it's fine, I, I would say it's, um, it's not an issue. Okay, so the overall condition is very nice, now, except for the um, tiny mark here. Okay, because the Porsche right, if you put it, inside the Porsche for a long time already and the Porsche it eventually oxidized you will see something like this though. so anyways here is the camera and this is the back of the camera the back alignment is good as well there's no visible fungus or haze and then right now we're going to insert the film to test the functionality of the camera so get yourself a roll of film okay let's put it like this and then close the cap. Okay, when it shows number one, means you are ready to go. La. Means the film is loaded properly. Okay. So this is to zoom in and zoom out. The way it starts up is also very cool, I would say. So this is how it starts up. Okay. And this is definitely one of my favorite collections as well. So you can see that there's um, there's two LED right here. The above one is stands for the autofocus, and the below one is stands for the flash. I will bring you out to the. Okay. So as you can see, when it's blinking, means it's not ready like Maybe it's too near already, or it's too bright, or it's like maybe um, too too hard for it to focus. You have to point something far away. And you see when you when you have press the shutter, you can see that when it sits right, just press the shutter. All right. So this is the auto auto thingy la. And when you can see that the red light also blink just now because the flash isn't ready. Okay, so we have pressed it, just press the shutter. And this is the green light the camera. Do it and do not still okay as well. Okay. And this is the panorama mode. You can see that it changes the viewfinder la. so yeah basically that's it for the viewfinder and there are several modes for here as well you can change it to auto this is the date settings la. so if you want to put, want to put it like this it means no date la. and this is the affine flash so as you can see that the flash isn't ready and the focus isn't ready as well because there's nothing for it to focus so yeah you have to you might have to put something else in front of the of the camera okay okay it's very hard using a light box because like, you know it's too bright for it to focus already and this is the self timer Front element also quite good as well. There's no visible fungus of haze. So, anyways, there is this um, low flash and this auto flash. This is auto flash with red eye reduction. And usually, just put it as auto la. The settings. And there is several modes as well. This is the macro mode. You can see that the zoom goes to the the max 125. And this is the portrait mode. This is the night portrait. And this is the spot focusing la. So yeah, basically that's it and also this is the continuous shot. So if you want to use the continuous shot, just press the shutter and then it will eventually uh, just shoot up uh, as you should. Okay. So that's the continuous shot. Uh. So yeah, everything is looking just fine for this camera. And also there is the rewind button right here. So after you shoot, um, until 36, 37 already, it will eventually rewind by itself. But right now we're going to um, rewind the film camera, force rewind the rewind the camera, la. which is the button right here. Just press it. You can see that the film counter it goes down eventually. We just wait for it now. Okay, when it shows. When it shows zero already and this sign it keep blinking means that you can go ahead and take a few more. Uh. 
So yeah, basically that's it, man. Thank you.